So here's a quiz that they did. Within this, I can view the quiz. So uh, here's an example of a quiz that has been marked. It's given me a nice overview of all the kids that have been set it, some great scores there. Oh, but look, they've really struggled with question two. Let's have a look back at question two. So what was question two? Uh, the atmosphere on Earth at this time was comparable to modern day and the answer is Venus. So uh, this one happens to be the first one on the list there. Um, but then I can flick through the different students. Jupiter, what's wrong with you? So you can look at it at a student by student basis. You can look at it on a class by class basis. Um, you can, I mean, there's all sorts of ways you can do it. There we go. So if I just want to look at how uh, the top set girls in year nine did. Yeah, that looks great. Although nobody got that one right. Ooh, I'll have to have words to them about that. Um, bottom set year nine, there we go. We've collected that data. Uh, only two of them have done that, so that's interesting. They need to hurry on with that. The deadline's not until, I think, next week anyway. Okay, example of a quiz there and looking at your data. You can get your data in other ways. Way. So classes, progress or progress. Here we go. So nine, uh, sorry, 10 set two, that's the top set boys. I can see there quickly how well everyone's done. I say I only said this the other day, so they've not quite finished that yet. So this is an example class that I made before, but I've actually made myself a student account so I can check up on what they see as well. So that is my student version of the account. It's connected to my personal email address instead of my school email address. Um, none of the kids can see that it's a personal email address or anything like that, but it just allows me to see what they see. So let's set a quiz for them. A quiz or assignment. Let's go assignment for now. Let's have a look at the hydrogen halides. There we go. That's more exciting, isn't it? So here we go. This was a, a year 12 bit of work. There we go assign assign to that class if you wanted to assign it to multiple classes you just type in the class code there we go so if i want to give it to 10 set one as well i can do and let's just fill in the rest of this all very quickly blah 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 blah, blah. yeah yeah oops and I'll delete that okay so i'm just going to log out Okay, so there's a student account that I've made. So this is what it looks like from the student side. So, so like us, they get a, a little home page to themselves. So uh, this is a student account. You can see the little uh, assignment that we've just made has popped up for them on the top right. Not only has it popped up for them on the top right, here on the notifications, it's also come up. Yes, I didn't know I had any work to do. Shut your face, it's there. So uh, they can get onto it by clicking that or the little assignment there. Uh, so open assignment. So what they can do at this point, uh, if you don't necessarily need to see something back from them, uh, if you just, if they just wanna go stuck in my book, and send that to you great they click turn it in hand in done then that sends you a notification uh, and what you might want to go is no i actually want a picture of that so you use your phone to take a picture of it or if they've done a, a word document or a powerpoint they can send that as well so let's go resubmit they've not sent any files so they need to attach something you can do that by going attach and going through it or There we go. Literally just drag and drop into that box. And there it is, turn in the assignment. Click, done. They can even send you a little message there. Add comment about the, and then it's submitted it as well. Okay. One thing that's really nice in this, uh, so from the student side, uh, the home is there. If they have multiple classes, 
they can get to it here so it'll be chemistry biology geography french whatever it may be uh they can see their progress as well if they've done things as different assignments planner their planner i've not massively played with this yet um but it is pretty new as you can see there they can add their own tasks to keep on top of their own reminders to keep on top of upcoming so they've completed this student account it has just completed that Block done okay so oh i didn't know i had work to do there's loads in here that triggers them to say oh no i have actually got work so what i have been doing with my students is sending them uh, this on Edmodo, but then backing up with an email as well. So then if people are going, well, we, we didn't know we had any work. Well, actually, there were quite a few different ways that you could see that. Uh, in this as well, there is a backpack, which is very similar to uh, the library on the teacher side, where they can put files and folders in there if they want as well. Got a notification. There we go. So let's just go back to the, uh, the teacher side to see what that's going to look like. There we go. Yeah. See, one submission. So you get a notification there and a notification up there. And look, you can even see the comment that I wrote there. Let's view the assignment that that student just submitted. If there were more students, obviously there'd be more entries there, but let's just have a look at that one example. Can we respond to that comment? Add comment again within this you can see at the bottom here drag files so if they needed uh, a, a diagram to help them with that again you can get your files open drag and drop this gives you a bit of indication of what that would look like it takes a bit of time to upload as well Within this as well, what we can do is actually look at the work that has been submitted. So here, nothing's particularly showing up because we didn't actually put anything in. But down here, I put an attachment. Now, this attachment isn't actually relevant to the work. It's just a random file that I found. Uh, but let's open it and have a look what we can actually do to this uh, to help the kids progress in their learning. So here we go. We can actually see a copy of what this file is. Um, and therefore, we can go, we can have a look down. Yep, they've done different things, whatever. Um, so you can actually open the file and have a look through and have a good read. Uh, when you could put a grade in, uh, let's say 25 out of 25 or whatever, uh, and then feedback there. Let's say what went well, even better if, something like that. Save the grade. And there we go. You can see just here uh, you can have a little comparison so if you've got quite a few students you can compare it and switch between each one by clicking the buttons here or you can focus just on that one student so there we can see uh, it saved that grade there and if you change your mind that wasn't actually that good you can save it as well something really cool that you can do with this is if the student has done it in microsoft word or a word processing document, um, what you can actually do is edit their assignment and actually review their assignment. So what you might want to do is do a little review um, and go new comment. just generic comment there you can send that and then if you close that down and I've logged back onto the student part here so hopefully if we go on to that document that I just added a comment on as a teacher we should be able to see it on the student version so I edited this field here a little comment has been put there and there we go. So you can actually go through a document with your students and make little comments as you go for them to improve.